you can mm-hmm. pronounce it because the next time you're forgetting, I'm not reminding you and you'll appear fine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, so let me try and now make sure this sticks in my brain. <laughs> Better. <laughs> okay, I know I, I would remember this. Nana is a very popular name in Ghana. <laughs> so, <Okay. laughs> so all I have to do is remember to tau and badai. So tau <laughs> nana badai. <laughs> Hello friends, hello viewers, welcome back to our channel, John for Girls, and in case you are a Swahili speaker, I would say Jumbo, if you are a Spanish speaker, I would say Ola, and of course, if you are any other speaker, please let us know how to say hello, hello, Jumbo, Ola in the comment section it will be interesting for us to get to know how you say hello in your language you know now you've known at least two or three from us hola spanish jumbo swahili hello german yeah so we'll dive straight into today's um, topic which is how to say goodbye in german um Last time we had a very interesting session. If you are new to our channel, you can check the videos out and please subscribe so you can get more interesting content from us. So Caroline. Yes. Today we have um, how to say goodbye in German, informal and formal. That's true, and I can't do it to to learn it, and also to learn it in your language. Well, in my language, unfortunately, um, I only know how to say goodbye just in one way. <laughs> There's nothing like formal or informal. I only know how to say kaadi, which is goodbye in my language. And we use it with old people, young people, anytime, anywhere. There's nothing like differentiating whether it's formal or informal. You know, it doesn't exist except I will create one. But for now, I only know one which can be used formally or informally. (laughs) So, um, of course, in English, it's just one way of course right goodbye or do you know any other way to say it in english no it's goodbye yeah so but for the sake of learning you know we've been able to you know just structure it in such a way where we can teach you how to say goodbye in informal in an informal way in german and also in a formal way as well so we've structured it that way to help you be able to differentiate how to say goodbye in an informal way in german and how to say goodbye in a formal way so let's dive straight into it okay um i'm sure this would be new to to some of us um caroline have you heard of the word choose 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 before <laughs> yeah i have heard of it but i really know that it's a german word until i learned it so would you have ever imagined it means goodbye ah uh, no where did you There's come no up if I may ask. Okay, there is when you when you are in a, a group of friends, there is this word that we use choose. Maybe maybe when something interesting comes up, but I didn't know that it means like goodbye in German. 
and I've never have imagined like it means goodbye. Okay. But today you know, yeah. you know choose choose means goodbye. That's how you say yeah, goodbye the informal way in German. However, there's another word for it. Okay, okay. <laughs> The word is actually borrowed from Italian, and in Italian, it means hello in Italian. So that even reminds me. I'm adding to my list of how to say hello. I'm adding Italian to it, which is ciao. <laughs> so <laughs> I, I, I said it in, in Swahili, Jumbo, Spanish, Ola, and... Um, German allo, so I'm adding Italian. It is ciao, you say ciao. That's how you say hello <laughs> in Italian. But however, <laughs> it's funny, you know. Um, it's very funny. <laughs> Do you know the Germans adopted it and they also say ciao as goodbye <laughs> so ciao in italy it's hello but in Jawan it's goodbye yes exactly well that's funny <laughs> i wish to 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 i love to to go go borrowed from the other no of course this play ciao is entirely a, a, an italian word <laughs> is so an the italian German... word. Okay. yeah the germans build it but they now decide to use it as buy instead <laughs> okay <laughs> yeah so we have two words that are used to say um buy in german choose and ciao but it's an informal way of saying goodbye. Yeah, informal, exactly. Okay. Yeah. So now, um, you you told me so many taught me so many words in Swahili last time as a Swahili speaker, which you are. Um, unfortunately. <laughs> I've forgotten everything. Okay, you um, have to pay a fine or forget. <laughs> <laughs> or rather, you pay school fees. <laughs> yeah, just name your price and I'll pay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Next time, when I, no, I'll let me give you this chance. Next time, when you forget, you have to pay a fine. All right. I, yeah. I, I I hope I don't forget next time anyway, so I don't have to pay a fine. <laughs> <laughs> it's up to you now. Yeah, this is you to teach me and teach our viewers how to say smile, how to say goodbye in Swahili in an informal way. You know. Okay, I, in an informal way. Yeah. Sorry? No, I, I just wanted to say that I I, I know that this looks um long is there is there a shorter way to because the word is looking long to me is there a shorter <laughs> version perhaps <laughs> okay in an informal way there are so many words like you can say goodbye like in swahili you can also say bye bye oh, you can also say so, so direct direct from english yeah direct translation from english okay uh, you can also say tuonan tuonana badai that is tuonane badai that's this one the one here right yeah the the yeah the one that you written. okay of course and so many others depending on who you are addressing okay like so uh, yeah. sorry 
no, go on, please. I, I wanted to pronounce it and then see if I got the pronunciation correctly. Yeah, you can, you you can, can pronounce it because the next time you're forgetting, I'm not reminding you and you'll pay a fine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So let me try and now make sure this sticks in my brain. <laughs> Better. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I know I, I would remember this. Nana is a very popular name in Ghana. <laughs> so, <Okay>. <laughs> <laughs> so all I have to do is remember to tau and badai. So tau <laughs> nana badai. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> the viewers so, will be my witness that I've told you the next time you're forgetting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I won't forget. This is quite straightforward, you know. Mm-hmm. Most especially with the with the tip of remembering with Nana, I think I would remember. I okay, just need to remember. Right. Nana. <laughs> Tatao Nana Badai. Chuta, Chutao <laughs> Nana. Chuta. Chutao Nana Badai. Good. <laughs> Yeah, so it's, now it's time for me to tell you in my own mother tongue. So Yeah, the one that think, I've been waiting for long. In case the viewers don't know, I <clears throat> my mother tongue, aside from the fact that I speak German, English, I also speak Ibibio and the folk, which, is my, which are my mother tongue. Uh, my mother tongue and um now i'm also learning swahili <laughs> from this <laughs> from this um channel through <laughs> caroline of course you can see she has already said i'll pay fine if i don't get it next time <laughs> so it's an opportunity to add more to my list of languages <laughs> you know so yeah if, so for my mother tongue is ibibio and as well, I speak Yoruba as well, um, which is another Nigerian language. Um, but for the purpose of our lesson today, and subsequently, I will be laying my emphasis on my mother tongue because that's what I understand a bit more better than any other Nigerian language. And as well, German, which is the focus of this channel, you know. So. Caroline, <laughs> please, yes. the viewers be the judge. Okay. How would you compare Swahili to a Bibio? <laughs> Kalana Badai. And this very straightforward two syllables. Okay. Okay, it's three because of pronunciation. Kadi. So it's three syllables. But by by way of writing in appearance i can just even tell you it's true cardi you know so how would you compare this simplicity wouldn't you give the simplicity to this this <laughs> it seems simple but when pronouncing it <laughs> it's better to say it to another badai than saying cardi <laughs> oh cardi is straightforward very straightforward you know, but it depends. For me, it may be hard, but Swahili may be maybe a bit easier because I've no, an average have, person. No, you know, Caroline, let's be honest. An average <laughs> person who don't know Swahili <laughs> and who don't know my who don't know Bibio, I'm sure I'm not trying to be biased, <clears throat> biased here, yeah? but I'm just trying to be, you know reasonable anyone who comes to 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 this channel now and they find that we are talking about how to say goodbye in swahili and how to say goodbye in Ibibio, you know i'm sure they will pick mine to be simple to be more simple cardi Okay, let's wait. Let's leave that one to the viewers to tell us which one is a bit simple. But I'm right. very 
si watu taonana baadaye it's more simple than kadi all right so we'll leave the judgment to the viewers then you know okay <laughs> You know, at the least they, they let the judge. They, <laughs> sure, 